Dude, that's so good. That's actually a snack. I've never enjoyed eating just a coffee bean before. Same, and I've had a lot of coffee beans. Uh, anyway, wh what are we doing today, Brian? So you and I, for the first time, are gonna try a geisha coffee. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> a geisha coffee are basically the rarest and most expensive coffees in the world. So if you were to go to like, let's say your local coffee shop that roasts premium coffee, mm -hmm. average price on that is gonna be like $30 a pound. This costs about $93 a pound. <laughs> so these coffees are known for being like super flavorful, super complex, just a lot different than your average cup of black coffee that you would ever have. And the price reflects that. But I was able to get this bag for free, actually, so I thought, why not come on your channel and make a video? Well, thanks for coming. Do you think you could, like, tell me a little bit about, like, good and bad coffee, maybe? Well, I mean, it comes down to personal preference. Cheap coffee is usually, like, really dark roasted, what you get at Starbucks. If you compare it to premium roasted coffee, it's a little stale. Um, gotcha. You were meant to drink it with cream and sugar to kind of mask the flavor, the bitterness. Um, contrast with the sweetness and so you end up liking the coffee but uh, typically like coffees like this they're meant to be drinking uh, without so much definitely not sugar maybe a little bit of milk for some of them they pair well uh, there's a lot of like different flavors in the coffee themselves versus just drinking bitterness well I'm excited to try it me too I mean this is actually my first time having a geisha too so what does geisha mean <laughs> You haven't seen the movie, like, Memoirs of it? Uh, I actually don't know. I've definitely seen, like, if, if you guys know a Hollywood video or Blockbuster, I would see the, the cover, but I would never, I would be like, but what's a geisha? They're very different kinds of things. <laughs> Coffee geisha, I think, is very different than... Anyways, try smelling it. Okay. Wait, oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know, there's, like, a... What is this, like, a button? Like a... <laughs> <laughs> a button? Like a smell button. This is actually what the, what this thing does. What this thing does is it actually keeps oxygen out and allows the coffee to release, I think, carbon. If the beans get oxygenated, then it actually loses flavor. So this helps it keep fresh. So it's not a smell button. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's but- It's more like a one-way filter. It is a one-way filter, but you can use it to smell coffee. Yeah, you can, so. Is, is there like a technique you use? Let's just like, open it. Okay. Or do you want to open Wait, it yet? One second. Uh, do your B-roll. Does it smell like coffee to you? Wow. I, I smell like I'm home. <laughs> it smells so good. It doesn't smell like normal coffee at all. No. It's almost like when you open a can of like honey roasted nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it smells really nutty. Yeah. Do you know that Korean snack, like the choripong? It's like the barley. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of smells like that. It, it doesn't smell like, you know how like a lot of coffee like feels or smells burnt? Mm -hmm. It has none of it. Yeah, because it's not over roasted. That's one of the problems with a lot of cheap coffee like that you get at like Starbucks or whatever. It's, you can tell how uniform the color on the beans are. And this is obviously a light roast. It means it was just really evenly roasted. I'm so excited. I almost want to just try the bean. Do so, it. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do it with me? No. <laughs> All right, here goes the bean. Really? It tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Oh my God, that's a snack. <laughs> but it's like the texture of popcorn a little bit. Yeah, almost the unpopped or yeah, yeah half popped. Okay, please uh, show me the the ways. Yeah, sure. Hey, 아빠. 우리 라인이랑 촬영하고 있어. 안녕하세요. 어, 야. 타임. Yeah, it's very good to see you. So, I mean, I'm brewing this on an AeroPress, which is a really great way to have a lot of control over the brew process. Um, 
I'm using a scoop, but usually this is about 12 ounces of coffee right here into a grinder. I'm not being super precise with measurements here, but we're still gonna get a really solid cup of coffee. And that's one of the reasons why I like brewing an AeroPress is that there's a pretty high margin for error if you're not getting aiming to get your stuff in dialed and super specific. We just gotta wait for the water to finish boiling. We'll pour it in, let it sit for two minutes, and then we should be good to go. So yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what all your um, your bloopers look like? <laughs> it's just all the honestly all the bloopers so far is just like me laughing at Peter. Nice. Another good thing about AeroPress is that you don't need a gooseneck kettle, which are honestly, in my opinion, super overpriced for just being kettles. Wait, why do you need a gooseneck? Precision and aiming. Wow, I thought it was a sham. If you don't know coffee very well, you can't tell. But if you drink quite a bit, you can actually tell the difference. Wait, dude, show me some dance moves. <laughs> this isn't high school anymore. No, yeah, because I that was high school, but now I need dance moves for the as I enter my 30s. You don't want 30-year-old dance moves. It's like, okay, here's one like my back hurts. Yeah, let me just do this. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, it, it feels really natural doing this. Two, three. <gasps> that is a very light roast coffee. Look at that color. It looks like tea. Yeah, definitely smell the coffee first. So just. <laughs> it's like a tea almost. <laughs> a sweet tea. I've never smelled coffee like this. Yeah, this is weird. All right, when you sip, slurp, bring in air, or er, yeah, it'll help with you tasting the flavors. Whoa. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it's just really unique. I don't know why it's this smooth. <laughs> and for a light roast, the acidity like stops really fast. It, it's there for a second and it's like cut short. This is really interesting. I was not expecting this. It's so good. Yeah, it's just, it's really good, but I don't know what else to say. You know, I don't like light roast coffee typically because it's like too acidic for me, but this one is like perfect. Yeah, there's no bite. So you get the pleasantness of it without the bite. I feel like good after drinking this coffee because I've had some coffee where you know, it kind of feels like greasy, or like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, well, some coffee is oily. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but this is just really clean, really smooth. I usually use coffee as like a neutralizer for like really sweet things. I feel like I just want to drink this without like anything. Yeah. Like nothing would pair well, I think, with this right now. Huh. That's a geisha coffee. <laughs> it's like... I was actually really expecting this to be more flowery. Maybe it's because the last coffee that I was drinking recently that I ordered was really flowery and really almost overbearing. This is much more, um, much more measured. It's not like showing off, it's just really, really good. I don't know how else to say it. Cause I mean, I've had some pretty flowery and some pretty fruity coffees, mm. light roast. This is like very like acidic and very citrusy. That's what I think too. I think it's so balanced in all of the different like characteristics, but nothing is like trying to take the spotlight. Or... Orange blossom, grapefruit, Earl Grey. I get the Earl Grey vibes for sure in the grapefruit. Guava, dragon fruit, tangerine, and chocolate milk. I don't know if it makes sense. It's citrusy, but it's not as fruity as I was expecting. This is really good coffee. It's like a hundred dollar pound coffee. Man, this is so good. I'm like, I feel like I'm in a different country on vacation right now. <laughs> like honestly, like it's a treat. It drinks more like a tea than a coffee. I agree with you. Yeah, it really does. What a splendid experience. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you're promoting? No. Well, this would have been the time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks for sharing this, man. Yeah. I felt like it was more fun to experience it with with someone, you know, instead of just like、okay. being home alone. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this is really good, and it goes just goes to the air. <laughs> it's, it's not like a, yeah, well, not nothing. I'm not lonely. <laughs> I'm not lonely. It's okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Really enjoyed this. It was fun. Coffee was good. 